You know, I can't say what I thought you'd be like, but it certainly wasn't this ultra-friendly. <laughs> Again, I can't say. Maybe meaner, with little devil horns. <laughs> Eh, I guess that's what happens when you manage to be a miracle child. You know, a kid born out of a demon's love. Most people think demons, especially archdemons like your dad, can't love at all. And I agree with your argument that your dad loves your mom, so... Exactly. Miracle child. Maybe you're more angel than demon. Yeah, and maybe that's why your dad is so keen on protecting you. I didn't really imagine Lucifer to be that, you know, protective type. Yeah, true, then again, he kind of, um... He, uh... Tried to take over the world for Lilith, but we're not going to get into that because I'm not a big history buff. Changing the subject, are we? Okay, well, I'm sure anything would look good on you. Well, if all you know is my name, we'll start there. Moloch. It means child sacrifice. So no, not mulch. I'm kidding, not exactly child sacrifice. Though it does mean a bull that has to do with child sacrifice. Weird humans, right? The things they'll do because they're greedy or scared. Well, it can also mean something like, something that has a dire cost. And yes, I know my parents are weird. Lunch? Mmm, sure. Been a while since I've had overworld food. If I can remember, it's less stringy than imp. Seafood isn't that bad. I actually like it. Well, we don't really have fish except in the Seventh Circle, and they all taste like iron, so... Maybe ask your father for your own miniature army so you can get out more. Have enough protection to satisfy him if you do move. I guess another kid is one way to get his attention off you, but I'm surprised they don't have another one yet. Trust me, sometimes I'm posted outside his door and... Ugh. The things you hear. And sometimes see. Ugh. Nah, you're right. Your mom's been careful about having any other children. Hate what? The food? If so, not all. I'm actually enjoying it. Like I said, it's rare to get a treat like this. Unless you're having Miss Limo's cook, but at that point you don't even know what you're eating. You think I eat Hellhound? My own kind? Oh, well, if we're putting it in that context, I can't lie and say no. Twenty. I'm twenty, just a little older than Ivan. And you? I'm afraid I'm not good at keeping track, but then again, I was never invited to your birthday celebrations.
we're cousins, actually. Though he's the runt of his litter, and I don't say that to be mean. Who's better? Dunno. We haven't sparred in a while. Maybe we should when he's rested up again. He makes better company than me? How so? I'm the talkative one. Well, somewhat talkative. He's the quiet, silent, and strong type. You know, the kind you find as male leads in shoujo manwas, was it? Okay, then what exactly did you expect from me? And what does entertaining mean to you? Watching someone strip down to their socks? Pity. You should try it sometime. I'm surprised you don't consider doing it with him. Okay, if you don't swing that way, fair enough. I take back my word. Aw, what? Do you need a hand to hold? I can play the role if you want me to. Just tell me. <sighs> Alright, we'll head back. Though I will miss the non-red tinted scenery. Maybe I should kick his ass now and again so he gets bedridden longer. And then I can hang out with you. Oh, definitely. It's rare I ever get to come here unless it's for war. I make no promises to beat up your best friend. You did ask which one of us is stronger, and I intend on figuring out myself as soon as possible. We'll try not to tear each other up, I promise. Well, I will. See you later, princess.